we show you how to draft and finalise a pay run so you can accurately calculate employee pay, tax and pension deductions and meet your payroll filing obligations. Let's take a look. To draft a pay run, click Go to Pay Employees from the Payroll Overview page. Alternatively, from the Payroll tab, click Pay Employees. The Pay Employees page is where you run your payroll. You can enter your re-enrolment date from this screen to help plan your re-enrolment duties and trigger your employees in pay run assessments. If you've got multiple pay frequencies, you'll need to process the pay run for each frequency as it occurs. Use the new pay run drop down menu if you need to select the payroll period to run. In this example, we'll run the monthly payroll for July, so we'll leave it selected. Then click Process Pay Run. If you're processing a pay run for the first time, you'll see a message reminding you to add employee opening balances. Click Cancel if you need to add them. Click Continue to proceed with the pay run. The next screen summarises the drafted pay run. At the top, we can see the pay frequency details and the current status. Then, we have the total cost of the drafted pay run split between gross earnings, employer national insurance, employer pensions and reimbursements. Then there's the payment date and a field to type a payslip message. Zero adds the message to all employee payslips, so if there's a comment you want all your employees to see, type it in this field. In this example, we'll add a message to thank our employees. Moving on, we've got a list of all the employees within the pay run. We can deselect employees if we need to remove them from this pay run. For example, if an employee has left the business and we've run their final pay period as an unscheduled pay run, or if we've got casual employees who work intermittent periods. We can also see the gross earnings and the total pay Zero has calculated for each employee. We can add a memo to an individual employee's pay slip if we want to include a message specific to them. For example, we'll click the plus icon, add a message to congratulate Charlotte on her promotion and click apply. Now we can see a speech bubble icon to indicate we've added a memo. Next, review the pay slips to ensure Zero includes everything needed to calculate employee pay correctly. Click the first employee in the list to view their pay slip. The draft pay slips include the regular pay items added to the employee pay template, leave and timesheet entries for the period, and leave balances if you've selected to display them. We've assigned Charlotte a holiday group to which we've added our business anniversary as an extra day holiday. Charlotte's basic gross monthly salary is her regular hours plus the business anniversary leave day. We've also added overtime hours to her pay template as she often works extra hours. Charlotte hasn't worked overtime this month so we can click the cross to remove it from her pay slip for this month. As overtime is part of her pay template, the overtime hours will be included on the pay slip for the next pay run, so we can easily add overtime hours next month if relevant. Moving on, Charlotte receives a commission, so we must enter the amount for the period. Let's say she earned £250 this period. We'll enter that in the commission field. If Charlotte doesn't earn commission in a period, I could click the cross to remove the pay item or leave it on the pay slip with a zero value. Next, we've got the childcare vouchers we added to Charlotte's pay template. We're happy the pay item has stayed the same for this month's payroll, so we can move on to checking the rest of her pay slip. 
Zero has calculated the employee and employer national insurance contributions and employee PAYE based on the tax information set up and the details on the pay slip. If you're registered for payrolling of benefits with HMRC and you've selected the box in payroll settings, you can include employee benefits in the payroll to allow Zero to calculate and deduct the appropriate tax. If an employee stops receiving a benefit in kind, you'll need to remove the item from their pay template. Moving on, we can see Charlotte's leave balance as we selected to show the balance on the pay slip when we added her leave entitlements. Finally, the bottom of the pay slip includes a summary of Charlotte's net pay and total cost. If you incorrectly adjust an employee's pay slip, click Reset Pay Slip to return it to the original pay template items. When you're happy with the pay slip, click Save and Next to review the next employee's pay slip. In our example, Chelsea is a new employee who started at the beginning of July. Chelsea receives her monthly salary, itemised by regular hours, business anniversary and annual holiday taken. As this is her first job in the tax year, she doesn't have any tax to pay, as you can see from the PAYE Zero has calculated. We're happy with Chelsea's payslip. So let's click Save and Next to review the next one. Edward is a director. In our example, he receives a small salary as part of his remuneration package. Let's add a one-off reimbursement to the payslip for this pay run. Scroll to the Reimbursement section, then click Add. Select the reimbursement type from the list. We'll choose Mileage. Then, add a description and the amount. Now we're happy with the payslip, let's click Save and Next to review the next employee. Here we have an example of an off-payroll worker. We received an invoice from the contractor and we've previously added a pay item to their pay template for the contractor day rate. So let's enter the number of days we've been invoiced for which is five in our example. We can update the day rate if the amount differs, but we'll leave it as £500 in this example. Zero calculates the contractor's relevant PAYE and NI deductions based on their tax details. Click Save and Next to move on. This employee is paid hourly. You'll see a blue link icon for employees who've completed timesheets. When you click the icon, Zero will redirect you to the timesheet if you want to view the details. If an employee doesn't have a timesheet or working pattern assigned, enter the hours worked in the hours field on the pay slip. In our example, we're happy that the timesheet is correct. Continue to review each employee's pay slip and enter one-off amounts as required. Once you've reviewed and updated all employees' pay slips, click Save and Close, which returns you to the main pay run page. If you've drafted the pay run and realised something is wrong, you can click Delete to remove the pay run. For example, you may have missed an employee you should have included in the pay frequency. Correct the issue, then repeat the process to draft the pay run. Alternatively, correct the issue first, then select the Options drop-down menu and choose Reset Pay Run. Zero updates the pay run with the corrected information and returns all employee pay slips to their original pay template items. Click Post when you're ready to complete the pay run. If you've set up employees for Zero to assess for auto-enrolment, you'll see an automatic pension enrolment message. Read the details, then enter a postponement date if necessary. Unless you postpone their assessment, Xero will add pension contributions to the employee payslip.
Click Confirm to continue. Read the Confirm Pay Run message. If you're late submitting payroll information to HMRC, you must provide the reason from the drop-down menu. For example, we'll choose Reasonable Excuse. If you want to review newly assessed auto-enrolment pension contributions in Xero before you submit the pay run to HMRC, click Cancel. You can return to view the employee pay slips, where you'll see that Xero has assessed and enrolled employees and added the relevant pay items to their pay slips. Click Complete Pay Run to post the payroll for the period and submit the information to HMRC. On the Pay Employees page, Xero displays a pay run confirmation and details regarding your workplace pension duties. Review the information to determine what further action you need to take to fulfil your pension duties.